Is there a right way to do spirituality? I get asked that question a lot by people who are concerned that what they're doing just doesn't make sense or it's not getting them where they want to go. And so they ask me that question. Is there a right way to do spirituality? Stay tuned, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. Hi, I'm Dr. Rosie Kuhn, and as I mentioned earlier, a lot of times I get asked that question, is there a right way to do spirituality? So today I'm going to give you some ideas of my perspective of <laughs> doing the, the right spiritual, doing it right, uh, and it really is comes down to number one, uh, the, the first principle for me, which is only you know when you are in alignment with who you are and what's true for you in regards to spirituality. So um, you, you may have grown up in a particular religion or culture where a spiritual perspective or practice is what you learned and, and, and um, practiced, but it may not be what works for you. There may be elements of it that work and elements that don't work, but it's you in particular that know, you know what is true for you. Now, some people believe in God. Some people believe in a number of gods. Some people say there's no God. And that kind of a question and that kind of an answer can only be answered by you. What is it you believe? What is it that's true for you? And nothing else matters. In our Western culture, we seem to, to, seem to uh, focus more on a deity, a God. Uh, in other cultures, there's many gods. And then in other cultures, there's no God. And so it's really up to you to decide what's true for you. So that's number one if you're doing spirituality right. In essence, if you're not doing spirituality right for you, you're going to be, feel irritated, uncomfortable. You're going to feel disturbed or confused. You're going to feel unfulfilled in this practice of cultivating this relationship with this part of you that you're getting to know. So if you're feeling uncomfortable, um, check in with yourself and say, no, this doesn't work for me. The way that I'm thinking it doesn't, or people are telling me to be, it's not working for me. So even what I'm saying here now, I want you to check in with yourself to make sure that what I'm saying either works for you and it, or it doesn't work for you. If it doesn't work for you, that's good to know because then you can go, that doesn't work for me. But this, uh, this is what I really believe. And that's a good thing. That's what this is all about. By the way, if you like what I'm saying and you find it of value, please subscribe and please give me a, likes, a like because that really helps me in so many ways. And it, you get to decide and choose to say, yeah, this is valuable enough. So click the like if you do. That's a great thing. The second thing I want to mention is that it's most of us think that we have to belong to an institution, we have to belong to a, a spiritual tradition, we have to belong to a, a group, uh, a spiritual organization, if we're really doing spirituality right. Now, I tend to be an introvert. I, I tend to be a person who does things on my own. So that particular perspective doesn't work for me because I like to do things my way. I'm very independent. And I really have to understand and work this relationship with myself, my higher self, with myself. Now, if, if a group or organization helps you do that, that's a good thing. But if there's an organization that's calling to you or say, hey, come join us, and they're giving you a sense of fear or guilt or shame about your way of thinking, or if they're saying, no, that's wrong, then you might want to question whether that's a valuable place for you. Because what we're doing here, what I'm doing, what I'm intending to do, is to empower you to know what's true for you and empower you to create this relationship, cultivate this relationship with yourself in a way that you cultivate trust and respect and honor of this divine being and you're getting to know it more and more. And so that's the intention of these videos for you. So a, th a third element of this that I'll share with you today is that it's important to cultivate into intuition. So that kind of goes along with what we're, we've been talking about already. But there's a sometimes a knowing that is within you 
Um, and we call it an intuition. Other people call it a knowing or a sense of guidance. Uh, perhaps it's a listening or a hearing or a feeling or a sense or a seeing. But there's an intuition that occurs, I think, all the time. And we're either listening and feeling and sensing into that or we're not. And to, to cultivate and engage in your spiritual sense of who you are, and I say spiritual sense because sometimes we don't know what. Again, we're we're in the in this in the we're, we're cultivating this this element of what is spirituality, right? So as we're in the sense of it, we're kind of including all these elements that are part of this. How do I know I'm doing spirituality right? Is there a right way? So these are the elements that I'm bringing in that I've. Uh, heard and listened to and found very, very valuable. So I'm just sharing those with you. So this, this place of cultivating more trust in your intuition is really, really important because sometimes a lot of people just ignore their intuition. They ignore that inner wisdom, their inner guru. And they say, so, you know, what do you think I should do? Or what do you think I should do? Or they go listen to YouTubes or videos or podcasts looking for the right answer when the answer is being given to them from the inside and they're not paying attention. So that's what I want you to do is start to pay attention to what is that inner guidance, that inner guru. What's, what are they sharing with you? And listen, because you, be, you can begin to trust that more and more. And the more you trust it, the more information, the better the relationship. And it gets to be really a joyful experience. Hello, Gracie. Another element of this, am I doing spirituality right? Or is there a right way to do spirituality? Is to question reality. And that's what Again, this is, again, part of what I've already been saying. If there's an institution or a culture or a set of beliefs uh, or, you know, the, the, the relationship with reality around you, the consensus view of reality, question whether it's right for you or not. The, the belief systems. We have been entrained and domesticated, uh, given data in ways that we don't even know, like these imprints from our family, from our culture, from the environment, from from the television, from Facebook, all of these places where we have gotten imprinted with information that we haven't necessarily even been conscious of. So when we could begin to question, where did I come up with that? How did I come to think about that? Where did that idea come from? Why do I, why do I think I have to be this way? When we question the reality, then we can begin to say, that doesn't work for me, or that really works for me. And we can begin to be more at choice about how we be authentically ourselves, be um, in our essence, uh, and come from that place versus living in a personality that has been, we've even trained ourselves to be. And what I mean by that, there's a plane going over, so I'll just let it go. Um, what I mean by that is the personality is the structure that we've created to our, for ourselves based on all of this imprinting, all of this information, this data that, that's been, in a sense, downloaded on us, upon us, and we didn't even know it. So we can start to go, this way of being in the world doesn't work. This way doesn't make me happy. This doesn't fulfill me. Oh, this really lights me up. And when we can feel where we get lit up, we can go, I want more of that. And that's what I want for you is to always be, in a sense, up-leveling to the next degree of, I want more of that. The last one I want to talk about today is that you have specific spiritual principles. You have specific principles that are inherent in you, that you have a knowing about, that you, in a sense, part of that intuition, that part of the sense of this truth that's bigger than our consensus of reality or belief systems that we're entrained in. There's a, there's a set of principles that you know, that you know of. And what I'm going to ask you to do is become more aware of what those principles are so that you can um, be more at choice about living with those principles, living in alignment with those principles, your highest truth, your highest knowing, your highest calling. When we can do that, when we write them down, they become more succinct. 
quite often we'll have insights, we'll read something, or we'll be listening to a podcast, or maybe even something that I'm saying to you. And without no, without writing it down, you go, oh, that's a really great idea. I'm going to do that. But then a lot of times we forget. But if we write it down, we can become more clear about what what those principles are. So for instance, when I was a little kid, even when I was a little kid, I didn't like stepping on ants or s- killing spiders. I didn't want to hurt them because I saw them as, well, they had a right to their whole life and I didn't have a right to kill them. And I would feel guilty if I did that. Um, and though, and, and at the same time, you know, I'd see in third grade or second grade boys who would be pulling the, the the legs off of a spider or the the fly the fly's wings it's pretty gross but that's they were okay with that but not me so that that principle for me that life is precious even if it's for a tiny little ant that's a principle of mine and I've been that been that lived it for almost 70 years so those kinds of things are important to know about yourself and that's why I really encourage you to to write them down so you go here are my spiritual principles here's what's true no matter who it is no matter what it is no matter no matter what these are my true beliefs so that's pretty much it for now uh, I will most likely be talking about some of these things again in, in, in upcoming videos. If you liked what I've said and you haven't yet subscribed, it would be just an honor to have you subscribe. And, and please like this video specifically. That really helps me know that what I'm saying here has been valuable to you. And I'd also like to know, if you'd put in, your, in the comments below, what are those spiritual principles that let you know that you are in alignment with your spirituality that for you here's how you are creating spirituality in the right way for you i would love to hear that i'd love to to know what those those specific things are for you all right thanks very much for being here bye for now